In Ocano County, boat landings reopened this morning for public use. Local 5's Calvin Lewis shows us how that decision is impacting the community. As a health department, we have to weigh out what the risks are to keep people safe and healthy versus doing what we would like to do. For the first time in weeks, it's opening day, boat edition. Fishermen are rejoicing as boat landings across Oconto County are reopening. It's part of a revision to a recent order that banned such activity. We want to give people that outlet to be able to get out, do what they love to do. It's a great leisure activity and we had to take it away for a short bit, but again, we opened it as soon as it was appropriate. The order states that boat landing users are expected to maintain social distancing guidelines of keeping six feet between themselves and others. Disobeying such guidelines could have some consequences. They need to have their facilities closed so that there aren't people that gather around those. They're your typical, you know, your restrooms, the fishing scaling area. Keep that six feet apart and not to get into groups. I have this week off. I plan on doing some fishing and I heard they opened up the launches up here. So I thought I'd come up and give it a try. Jim Kleiss took the 40 minute drive up from Green Bay so he could get out on the water. For him, being out on his boat means more than just catching a few walleye. This is an outlet for my stress and I encourage everybody, whether it's fishing or biking or what you want to do, get out. It's starting to get nice in spring and, uh, you know, keep your heads up. And whether you spend that time on land or sea, the message is still the same. Hang tight and uh, we'll get through this. In Oconto, Calvin Lewis, Local 5 News. Nice day to get on the water. Well, in addition to Ocano County's boat launches and state golf courses opening, non-essential businesses and public libraries will be allowed to begin curbside pickup today as well.